Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the Pyre Horns, as you can see, but up first we have the brand new Arcane Chest. So in this chest we have the returning Nashblade Dragon Coffer, which of course is a gold-heavy uh, Dragon Coffer. So we have all the things you typically find, as well as some uh, frozen ash, apparently that's valuable. Some silver dragon scales, some cracked bash the dragon hollow recordings, and more trophies like that, as well as the super rice down here. Quattle's Horde, Gift of Orin, and the Crystal Infusion of Power. It doesn't look like we have the new uh, dragon bash weapons, which apparently there are some. Ah, here they are. We don't have uh, the summer light which is a new rifle, a Mordrum style weapon. That's pretty cool. Is it Mordrum? Yeah, it is Mordrum, right? Or is that meant to be like reclaimed or... We have Spring Warmth, which is also a flowery sort of renewal, regrowth style weapon. And this one is a staff. Very <laughs> flimsy up at the top there. And we have Journey's Call, which is a Warhorn. There we go. Not too shabby, but they are not in the Black Lion Chest version, the Nash Blade version of the Dragon Coffer. Also in the chests, we have the Dominator weapons, we have the Crimson weapons, we have the brand new Arcane Battle Staff, which looks really, really cool. Uh, I really, really like this. And I hope I get it. It looks very much kind of legendary style or level of quality. And it seems to be brighter when in combat compared to not. Uh, what else do we have? We have the Cliff Leatherworker and Taylor. We have the Elder Wood. We have the Mithril. We have Ghost Pepper. And we have Lotus. As well as, of course, the Super Rares and the returning Starborn Cape from the last chest. So... We have 25 keys lined up. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Right, arcane chest. Here we go. Number one, we get a Dominator rifle right off the bat. That's kind of very handy. Got some supplies there. Some, what's that, Biora? Biora marches. Very nice. Quite a reward. Transmutation charges. Oh, I needed them. <laughs> what's this? A Jormag die kit. Very classic. We're going to have all the dragon die kits. So lines our survivor as well. I imagine, anyway. The Prime Mortis is in there too. Ooh, a Dominator Torch as well. Lots of black line weapons so far. Two in the first eight keys. That's pretty good. Let's see what is up next. Here we go. Number 11. What do we have? Another Jormag die kit. I'm getting lots of heavy crafting bags too, it seems. That's the Prime Mortis die kit there. We have a few of our guaranteed wardrobe unlocks, but we have not gotten the coveted staff yet. We've got another Dominator weapon. Wow. Oh, yes, there it is. That's the one thing I really wanted this chest. It looks so, so cool. Can't wait to show that off now. Here we go. Let's see what we can get with our final eight keys. Here we go. Anything of note, a weapon unlock? Okay, that's not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Now this is and that's fine. the armor unlocked there. More die kits. We have two more keys. One more key. We got a crimson weapon. The greatsword. And finally we have... A primer. Okay. Not too shabby. I'm very pleased with the arcane battle staff. And we got plenty of black line weapon skins. Uh, this week. I don't think there... Is there a new... Where are my tickets? Oh, we do have a new set. Let's have a quick look at these guys. The Maguma set. Oh, they look cool as well. So, that's the axe. The longbow. Very nice. The shortbow. It'd be handier if I just did this, wouldn't it? The dagger. The focus. I like the the mixture of like a that crisp stone. Don't know what type of stone that is, but 
mixed with the vines and everything. It's very, very nice. Again, looks kind of like a reclaimed or restored sort of deal. It's... It doesn't look like the sinister sort of marjoram colors. They're brighter greens. So they are, and they've got these nice little glyph or... What colors are they? Sort of glyphic inscribing on the stonework as well. Here's the mace. That, that's just a honk of tree, isn't it? <laughs> the pistol. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's a nice set. The rifle. The scepter. Let's have a look at the shields. Is it a big hunk of stone? It is a big hunk of stone. Nice round shield, too. Very cool. The staff. Very similar to the scepter. The sword. Well, that's kind of cool, too. I can definitely see this working with, like, a, a range. Maybe if I get some for ore. That could be cool. The torch. Uh, not a huge fan. What does it look like when you actually hold it, though? Nah, not my favorite torch. And finally, the war horn. There we go. Let's dive into our loot now. So, let's do the transmutation charges first. And let's get the materials out of the way. Quite a reward. So, that's six heavy. We've got ten large. And we've got three Bjorn marches. There we have it. Anything of note there? One charged lodestone, I suppose that's handy. Some trophies as well. Some totems, I should say. Uh, let's condense and we'll throw these guys on next. The dragon coffers. So, these are affected by magic find? Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Be right back. Okay, well, that's our magic find brought up, so we are at, how much magic find? I, like, I'm not maxed out, I'm at 800% uh, from my usual 311%, and that's with my enrichment, right? Do I have the enrichment on at the moment? I do, good. So, let's open these dragon coffers now. Someone has to get that back Here we go. Quite a reward. I had no idea these were affected by magic find, to be honest. Uh, so, let's see how much gold we got from that, off the bat. So, 7, 12, 3, and 15. Get rid of that ambrite too. The rest of this is all just kind of... Now, this is a five. We've got some loot boxes, we have some Dragon Bash fireworks. So, some food as well. Which is more magic find food, which is kind of handy for some of that. I'll keep the uh, cupcakes, I think. And the koi cakes don't look too bad either. How much are they worth? Three silver. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Right, let's do our dyes finally. Normally I do these first. It's kind of weird. Okay, we have the frozen scales die worth one gold seventy-eight. We have frostbite green. Which is worth four gold fifty. Very nice. We have frost dye. Worth ten silver. We have enameled crimson dye. Worth three fifty seven. We have electro purple. Very nice. Three gold fifty. And we have oxblood as well. 676, 6 silver that is. We have honey ice, we have two of them. And they're worth 84 copper each. We have a lime dye. One silver each. We have aqua tint, which is worth 5 silver 14. We have violet ice, worth 17 copper. And we have winter frost, worth 6 copper. 11 copper. 
and there we have it. Let's move finally onto our unlocks and then check out this battle staff skin as well as the pyro horns on all characters. Here we go. Weapon unlock. The packed fleet axe. Okay. We have the ghoul backpack. Ooh, what's that look like? Is that a Mordrum attacking me? It is a Mordrum attacking me. That's not good. That's pretty cool, actually. I'll use that for Halloween. Very nice. We have Blade. Oh, that's annoying. And we have a miniature as well. Toxic Knight. And Master a Charge. We can get the Charge Stormcaller stuff in here. That's interesting. But now we can make Amalgamated Draconic Lodestone, so that is handy. And finally, we have Armor Unlock here. The Sport Sunglasses. That's kind of nice. Check them out real quick. They're down here somewhere. Oh yeah, look at that, look at us go. How are they staying on? I have no idea, but we got them. <laughs> and finally, the Forge Man Wrist Guards. Also an annoying one because it's from a dungeon. I should probably do dungeon runs soon. Finish them all out, and I believe that is everything for the... Yeah, for the chest, that is. That we have Violet Ice still. Did I not sell that? 17 copper if I did not. And let's check out the staff. So here is the arcane battle staff. It looks so cool and looks really nice with the charge gloves actually, the, the storm gloves. It looks nice. It's got a bit of a trail effect, I don't think there's any use effect on it, no. But we do have a trail, which is pretty cool. Who am I attacking? I don't know. Yeah, I really like this one. Very nice. And let's have a look at the die channels for the pyre horns here. So this is the default here. We have a uh, graphite, we have pastel citrus, and we have apricot. Let's go for pure shadow abyss. Very sinister. So the top layer is going to be the base of the horns there. The bottom left layer is going to be the flame on the top of the horn, and the bottom right is going to be another layer of flame on the horn as well. So, see the contrast there. And there's all three. We'll do a green, it's a bit more contrasty. There we go. And that is the Pyre Horns. Let's go check out the horns on all of the different races of Tyria. And then we can also, perhaps... Is there better... Hmm, what do I have on my... Uh, let's go check out the horns on all the different races of Tyria, and then we can also uh, check the staff out on a few different characters as well. Here we go. Here we are on a human with the new pyre horns and also the arcane battle staff. Looks kind of menacing, I think. It would probably work well. It's a shame you can't, again, like, die the... Die the weapons, you know? It's a different blue. I mean, yeah, you could probably get a nice match with both the arcane and the pyre gear, because of course you have the pyre gloves as well, but it does look pretty well together actually, my wyvern's back up now, which is a shame, go away mister, you're ruining the shot, <laughs> so yeah I think they do look well together, the two blues, so they do, and it's a very cool stop I think. 
Let's move on to our next character. Here we go. Here we are on Silvari with the brand new Pyre Horns and Arcane Battle Staff as well. Looking pretty nice. Horns, I think I probably need to change the color slightly to work with this character. I'm fast as the wind. But it looks pretty good. Very nice indeed. And this dye color on the horns. Iron. Orchid. Apricot. Looks kind of nice, the kind of uh, readiness with the purple. Though I think overall it doesn't suit the character's dye pattern completely. But there we go, let's move on. Here we go. Here we are on Char with the new horns and arcane battle staff. Again, looking nice with that staff, and the horns aren't too shabby either. They kind of blend well with the natural horns on this char already. So that is nice. It's a shame that there's no kind of non-aura or flame version. I know it's the Pyre set, but similar to how they have with the, the dragon horns from a couple of years ago, where you had the enchanted version and the basic version. So you could not have the aura if you wanted. Where was that? So here, you have the enchanted dragon one, or you just have the dragon horn. Which I think, especially for Char, they also did it with the antlers. I think especially for the likes of Char, it's handy. And they did it with the sky scale horn, too. It's handy, because without the flame it can be a bit more natural horn which is kind of cool uh, but there we go and this die set let's have a quick look before we hop over to Norn icing with die remover there you have it let's head over to Norn and here we are with the pyre horns on our Norn very very cool I'm gonna keep these for a while Instead of the uh, the old sky scale horn that we use, who knows? But yeah, very very nice. And the dies on this are tarnished steel, uh, sienna, and more tarnished steel. So there we go. Let's head back to Quando. Wrap up the video. And that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. Trying to get to 3,500 subscribers, and then we'll be adding face cams and such to the stream. So subscribe for more. And I'll be live later on tonight with Dragon Bash 2021. I'm looking forward to that. I will be checking out all new events and, well, the old events, the returning events, and trying to get some of the new stuff, I suppose the new gloves and look at the new weapons that are available you can also check out this week's giveaway the link for that will be in the end screen to either win the pyre horns or five black lion chesky's and you can also join the discord the link for that is down below uh, that'll keep you up to date with all things new on the channel such as new videos when i go live and our weekly screenshot challenge every saturday in guild wars 2 and you can join the community guild in Guild Wars 2, either through the Discord or by messaging me in-game. And I believe that is everything from me for today, so until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care.